The time has arrived. You are faced with a heartbreaking end-of-life decision for your pet. You want your pet to spend its final moments in familiar settings, to be at home, surrounded by family. So you want to prepare. You want to know what to expect. Hello, I'm Dr. Lorraine Watson, owner of Doctor for Pets in-home pet euthanasia service. I understand that you consider your pet as part of your family. So when your pet has reached the end of its life and it is time to say goodbye, this can be a very painful and stressful time for you. That is why for over 30 years, I've been helping pet parents like you say goodbye to their cherished pets in the privacy and comfort of their home. The term euthanasia is rooted in the Greek word euthanatos, which means an easy death. We've come to associate the word euthanasia with a kind and merciful death. This is what you want for your pet, and it is my passion to help your pet's final moments be as stress-free and peaceful as possible, and to allow you both to spend this precious time in the place your pet loves the most, your home. Time and time again, I'm being asked by pet owners, what can I expect when I put my pet to sleep at home? So I've created this video to walk you through the process so that you are prepared. The information in this video is a demonstration of the process. Emotionally, it'll be easy to watch and to share with other pet parents. I've enlisted a few helpers for this demonstration. Meet Jet, and Jet is a retired acting animal. You may have seen him on commercials, and he's appeared on the television shows Animal Kingdom, First Family, Fuller House, Parenthood, Shameless, and Two Broke Girls, and meet Jet's trainer Janine, and my lovely niece Emmy. Join us now as we take you through the in-home pet euthanasia experience. After spending time with you discussing your pet's condition and taking a few moments to complete paperwork, you can allow your pet to go to his favorite place in the house. This may be a dog bed or blanket in the family room or other room in the house. Sometimes that favorite place is in the backyard. The first step in the process is to put your pet in a twilight sleep. If your pet still has an appetite, I will have you offer a favorite treat or even people food, like that leftover steak from last night's dinner. This will act as a distraction while I administer a sedative injection at the hind end. The onset of sedation may vary depending on the condition of your pet at the time of your appointment. Generally, it takes five to 15 minutes to be effective and some pets may require additional injections. Some pets under heavy sedation release bodily fluids or solid waste. So at this time, I will cushion your pet's bottom with a pee pad. Once your pet has reached the desired level of sedation, the final injection is given. This is an overdose of barbiturate anesthetic. It causes your pet to lose consciousness and eventually stops the heart from beating. Your pet is asleep and completely unaware of the process. Death occurs within minutes. Occasionally, there will be small muscle twitching in spots along the body, and a few pets may take several shallow breaths. A paw print can be made at this point if you desire. Also as part of the service, care of your pet's body is available, including cremation or aquamation, and you can visit my website for more information on those options. In-home pet euthanasia is becoming increasingly popular with pet parents. Pets contribute so much to our daily lives, and putting your pet to sleep at home allows them to say goodbye to you in a familiar setting because your home is their comfort zone. I hope this video has provided you with valuable information, and I hope you will share it with other pet parents. Thanks, team. I really appreciate your help. Janine, thanks for sharing Jet with us. Good job, Emmy. Great job, Jet. <laughs> I bet you're glad that was just pretend.